Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. one. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Johnson. And on today, I stand in representation for my generation that enough is enough. Now you see, we have to stop the violence. We have to put the guns down. Now you see, in order for us to save our generation, we have to change our generation. Black lives matter, all lives matter. Now's the time for us to be set free. God bless. You know, growing up in Chicago, uh, I saw violence every day. Friends killed, cousins killed, and today it's really no different. Today, I mean, the only difference is that now you have the news covering it, the, the internet covering it, pretty much sensationalizing everything. I think what, what kids mostly did, you know, need today, they need role models. Interesting, the word rewind. If you remove the R and the E, you have the word win. And unfortunately, our little boys and our little girls have been casted in the midst of the win. I'm remembering the days of being able to stand outside on the sidewalk and play hopscotch or double dutch or better yet, be that cheerleader for the boys playing football in the middle of the streets. But see, those are days are gone and they're just memories now because going outside is no longer safe. Better yet, I never imagined that riding a bicycle would possibly be someone's demise, granted. And I remember, you know, growing up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I saw my first gun battle when I was in sixth grade. Twelve-year-old at a party, hanging out, house party, having fun. And we all had to experience a gun battle. We ran, we scattered, we hid, and we also watched. And this was, this was the environment that we grew up in. Um, later in life, you know, um, you know, those memories came back. You know, they manifested in the post-traumatic stress disorder. So I know that there's a lot of people from their journey, from their experience, who are still reliving those traumas. So sometimes, you know, there could be triggers, loud noises, loud sounds. Um, so it's a whole bunch, it's a whole host of issues that's going on in our community. And I think when you see violence, um, it's a cry out. It's a cry out for help. And I think what we have to do is we have to unite. We have to stop talking about... Um, Stop talking about it and being about it. We really have to impact change in our community. Right, this so. is DJ Sko over here at Strong Arm Radio, the host of the Midday Mayhem show and co-host of Life After Church, also on Strong Arm Radio. Um, born in, and raised in uh, in Florida, Tallahassee, Florida. Born but raised in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And I frequent the Miami area. I'm just a, little, a lot upset. Not a little upset, a lot upset about the youth and the gun violence. And it's something that's been so big in the South Florida area within the past couple of years until it's scary. This year alone we've had 62 kids under the age of 18 killed by gun violence. And um, not all of them have been, you know, um, none of them to me have been warranted, but not all of them have be, been by the police as a lot of people like to say it's us killing, you know, each other. I think that the access to guns for youth is too great in our area. It has to be something that gets a lot more complicated than it is. Um, I know that we are all we all uh, want our right to bear arms, but our right to bear arms it has to come with the responsibility of making sure these children don't get a hold to these arms that we've gotten the right to. Gun bear. violence, gun violence is a uh, is uh, something that needs to end. I mean, kids need to be, you know, conscious of the real fact that they're taking somebody else's life and. Uh, you know, for gun owners and for gun advocates, people who, who are support guns, I mean, just, you know, understand that there's a lot of people that are getting guns for the wrong intentions. And we have to do something to prevent those people who are getting guns for the wrong intention. A girl in the neighborhood shouldn't be buying 20 guns and reporting 20 guns stolen. A person who's mentally disturbed shouldn't be able to purchase a gun. You know, I'm all for gun rights. You know, I, 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 I'm all for the uh, Second Amendment. You know, I'm a guy, I'm a constitutional guy. 
You know, uh, if anybody know me, I, you know, they know that I fought for free speech all the way up to the Supreme Court. So I fully believe in the Constitution. But at the same time, you know, the Constitution, I don't think it was written, the Second Amendment wasn't written for people to purchase guns to then put it, the guns in the wrong hands of individuals. We have a gun violence problem. If you don't realize that there's a gun violence problem, and whether it's Miami, Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland, wherever it may be, we have a situation that needs to be addressed. And by ignoring the situation, people are losing their lives. Right now, today, this minute, as soon as this video is done, somebody else has lost their life from a senseless gun uh, violence. And they went out, you know, by purchasing a gun to hunt an animal. They're purchasing a gun from somebody that hurt another person, which is something serious. Some of you politicians, y'all might not live in these situations, but these situations exist. And, uh, Amen. A man. A man, a woman has been shot out of life and for some it's hard to now fathom what's wrong or right. I pray for the young and the old, I pray for the bold and the cold, I pray for those who find no remorse in taking a life of their own or yours. My come. The, the gun violence is senseless. Y'all doing the wrong thing, y'all destroying homes. Leaving real fathers like me, real mothers like her. Y'all leaving, y'all breaking homes up. It ain't cool. Gangs ain't nothing. The jailhouse, you gonna end up a girl. The gangs gonna leave you alone. Join God's gang. Now what I got to say, when, when you think about the senseless violence, when you think about committing a crime, for me, just let King Carter picture pop up in your head. Let the face of my six-year-old son pop up in your head just to let you know it's senseless and put it down on everything. Stop the senseless gun violence. Save our kings, save our queens. Let the kids live. Long live King Carter. It's important for our young people to put the guns down because we need to continue our generation. We need to make sure that we do better this generation than the last generation and then the next generation does better than what we did. It's important we put the guns down because we are killing, literally killing our future. Don't wait. It's important that you connect yourself with some type of nonprofit organization that's doing things, that's doing positive things in the community. You see all of these organizations coming up, these grassroots organizations. Connect yourself with one of those organizations. Lend your time and your talent and sometimes your funds to those organizations. They need you. We need to make those organizations stronger because our voices are only heard when it's a lot of us. You can have two or three people saying the same thing, but it, it, it does not matter unless the numbers are present. And so that's what I want to leave with you. I want to make sure that you don't only know the name of Trayvon Martin, the young man in the hoodie that was unarmed in Sanford, Florida on February 26, 2012. You don't only want to remember that. You don't only want to remember when somebody's child is died, has died. You don't only want to remember that. We have to do something more after that has happened. After the cameras are gone, after the interviews are gone. Right now I travel around the country because I refuse to let my child's death be in vain. I refuse as a parent. No, I'm not a preacher nor do I consider myself to be educated enough to be your teacher. But I speak on behalf of the mothers and the fathers and the brothers and sisters. The tears I see crawl down their eyes. I speak on behalf of those who didn't get to live their full life. I speak on behalf of the family and friends who have to attend an unplanned reunion at a child that's less than 10 graveyard. At a graveyard. Wake up. When will enough be enough?